I'll uh, I'll load that engine stand up in the back of my truck on Wednesday. Yeah. So next time we have a day off, I can run it over here. And uh, we'll be ready to go with that. So what do you think? Think it's about right the way it's set right now? Yeah. I mean, it's I'm gonna lose it in the front a little bit. So. Yeah. We well, you know we're. At, I mean, even at even if you had to trim the bottom of that thing there, yeah, you, know, you probably don't want to, but you could. Yeah, you could. I don't know. It's just about perfect the way it is, though. <laughs> I think you're going to be all right with that. Well, what I think fine. I'm going to do is I'm going to get some pipe yeah. or some rod. Yeah. And I'm going to weld it right along the whole bottom of that thing and stiffen it up really good so that if it does scrape, sort of like a cow catcher. Yeah, well, that way it's, yeah, like a cow catcher, but I mean, if you do hit something, it's not going to bend That's so what easy. I mean. yeah. <laughs> yeah, make a cow catcher out of it. It does look like a skull. And what it does when you put them headlights up there, it's it look like, like a big grinning skull face going down the road. That's pretty cool. Well, it's going to look a lot better when you get them wire wheels on it and the big yeah. wheels on the back, too. All that's going to make it look better. Right now, I'm going to have to cut that radiator down at uh, four inches of this figure. Right yeah. off of it. You know, it's a port, because I measured it. Yeah, so that won't she be is lower than She's lower than I thought it would be. You know? Well, you know, as much room as you got in there, you can put just about any kind of radiator you want. You yeah. Got, so you got I a boatload of space for it. I kind of need that, that thing that surrounds the radiator. Right. So that's basically your port, your front. All this stuff mounts to it, so I see. I'm going to have that part anyway, but I could put, like you said, any radiator in between that. Yeah. That's pretty wicked looking stuff there, buddy. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get I out of here. I definitely a pork truck. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's a low, what size? That was way over a ton truck. That was a two and a half ton truck, yeah. easy. <laughs> yeah. This guy in the office came running up and said, this is so-and-so. And I said, yeah. And he says, he's got all kinds of hot rods. He wanted to meet you. And yeah. he says, where do you guys get all your parts? And I said, where you, anybody gets them in the woods. <laughs> where do you? So then I showed him a few pictures on my phone of the chassis and everything. But I, said, I told him to go on your website and yeah. check it out. So he's going to check it out when he gets back to Milwaukee. Cool. They make a 15 gallon pig tank that you inflate tires with. Right. So I gotta measure what the 15 gallon pig tank is and if it fits in the back of my car, I'm gonna cut the hole in the top of it. Yeah. Of course it's got a hole for your air inlet on the top so you just flip it upside down, cut the brackets and the handle off of it, yeah. weld some nice mounts on it, yeah. cut a hole in the middle and get your cast tank spill smoke. And there's my freaking yeah. Pig tank, gas tank, I'm going to put in the back of it. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. Good enough. Good I enough. ain't worried about no, uh, no. I ain't going to hook no fuel gauge up to this one. Yeah. I put one in that one, and I, it's gone to hell on me twice, and I'm not putting another one in it. Yeah. I mean, as long as I can look in there and stick something down the gas tank, I know what I got in there. But That's what I do with mine. I don't have gauge, and, you know, I just fill it up every time I go anywhere, and if I'm going far, I'll, you know, Go up some more, put an extra put one right stick, there. stick in it. I know I got gas in it. It tells me I got gas, but I don't read accurately. Yeah. It did for a while, and then it just keeps going to help. I think a 15-gallon pig tank, if it would fit between there, is very high-pressured. Yeah. So it should it will be make a wicked nice-looking gas tank. Yeah. Good and sturdy and everything. I was going to use a beer keg, but then you've got some major issues with a beer keg. You've got to bolt in with a bunk where you pump is you can't use none of that because that's in the center yeah and then you'll need a hole in the bottom and you gotta have something welded in for your fuel line because you can't you gotta have it at the bottom of your tank yeah and then you've got a weld a spout in it so you're messing with all this extra stuff so a pig tank basically is all i have to do is take the hole saw and put my top on it and yeah then i've already got it it's already got threaded adapter in there so you there's your gas line yeah so the only thing you got left to do is mount some brackets on it and, yeah. and, and weld them right to the thing you can. Yeah. They're heavy enough. I'll just weld a bracket that goes from here to there and then weld it right to my pink tank. The guy at the tractor place says, what the hell are you buying all these things for? And I said, 
You'll see someday, I said. <laughs> we'll be right, taking a ride in it in the spring. It yeah. might not have no windows, and it might not have no glass, or it might not be street legal, but <laughs> I can drive it on the road, <laughs> and we'll take it for a ride. Yeah. <laughs> That's my plans. Yeah. Come spring or early summer, it's going down the road. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. It might not have no lights on it or nothing, but she'll go. <laughs> yeah. First thing I'll do is just like when I built my other one, do a burnout. Yeah. See if it breaks. <laughs>You know, I've had so many comments about, you know, your shot looks like it's a made stay off. I think I'll just I'll just get a video of you sweeping for a while. <laughs>
the, the body settled on the frame and know where you're going to be sitting at, you know. Um, yeah, once I get like a seat in there and set in it and see, then I'll take a measurement. I don't want to be cramped and I'm pretty tall. Yeah. So I don't want to really be cramped in there. You can gain uh, four inches or so if you decide to, you know, take that gas tank out from under the seat. Yeah, you can, you can drop that down on the floor and uh, give yourself some extra space. I want space to be able to tilt the window good too though. Yeah. I don't want to be like <laughs> staring into the dashboard. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to see it ahead of me good. Yeah. I got quite a long nose there to look up You over. do have quite the hood to look over there. So. And <laughs> yeah, that is something to take into consideration. Let's get it running first. Then. Yeah. <laughs> first things first, right? Yeah, I get it. I mean, I could run it on the road and then chop it later if I have to. Yeah. You know what's going to make it look hugely better is when you get some you get them wire wheels on the front and some big tires and, and your big tires on the back, that's just going to make everything look way different, you know. Yeah, and then once you can see everything, right now we're looking at frame rails. And yeah. Once there's a motor in there and some exhaust sticking out of it and everything. And yeah. That's going to change a little bit. I'll use that original steering wheel and I'm going to build, build a, get some tubing and some bearings and I'll put it all right back in there again. <laughs> Why not make it view to it, you know? Yeah, part of the truck, right? Yeah. Then I get all these for my standard pedals. All my pedals. Try to use all that stuff so it's all back the way it was. And I even got my gas pedal. If I can get just to work. The original. <laughs> She's a beauty. Yeah. In one of my books there, I showed a guy who had a couple of military practice bombs. He made them in a gas tank, so I'm kind of in search for some of my brothers in the military, so maybe he can get me a couple. And I'll mount them as gas tanks in the back of a bed. Just, I mean, it was something wicked cool. I liked the idea of it. <laughs> it just, so he, I talked to him, and he says he thinks he might be able to find me some. <laughs> that'd be, be complete. If, awesome. if he does find the practice bombs and the pink tanks out of the question, you know.
busy. Yeah, I got a little bit done. Tell me what you got done. I got all the cab mounts made. They're not welded in yet. Yeah. They're all clamped in place. Did you cut out a piece of the floor? No. Okay, but it, I like the, it, you know, that fits. I noticed that, oh, it fits right in here nice. Yeah. You, you did this, didn't you? No, that right there is original. Wow, that's perfect. And right underneath is a, I took, took a piece of an angle. Yeah. You can see it right there. Yeah, right here. I got to be all welded in, but then yeah. I'll draw two holes. Yeah. And then I'm going to have one back here where that rear hole is. Right. And I got one back here, clamped. I got a third one right here that's gonna go on it. So, so you got your cab mount right here. Up in here. Right here. Yeah. And then this is a yeah. That's gonna be that side. You're gonna put one over here. Yeah. I just fabricate all this stuff and weld it, so I try to weld water or mig water when I can, but yeah. some of this stuff really thick so I can't. I like an arc well. I, I can't I can't weld with a mid welder. That's your shock mounts? Yeah, that's my shock mount. <laughs> I don't think they're going anywhere. No. Be a hole right here. You're right. Shock come down and then I'll I'm thinking about drawing a hole right through the axle. Yeah. And bolting it. And they'll come right up. You figured out what you're going to use for shocks? Yeah, I'm going to order a set of a speedway there. I know what length they are. It tells the whole length and everything at $44 a set. So, yeah. For a pair of them. So, I mean, can't beat that. 20 something dollars a piece. Right. Yeah, and I see. it's the same as Pete and Jake's, it but it's. You know what else is the same shock. as Pete and Jake's? It's <laughs> Volkswagen shock. You just said that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I figured out on mine. I see you got your steering box set in place. Yeah, that's approximately where it probably will be, and it will be tight against the motor. I mean, I'll have some clearance to the motor, but yeah, that's just sitting there like that now until the motor's in. Yeah, got the motor on the engine stand, ready for ready for work. Yeah, I got like a homemade engine stand. Oh, that's honking. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much rolled it anyway. So you made that? No, my brother got it. <laughs> oh. I had a truck garage down in Georgia, I think. When he was in Georgia. Yeah. And he was throwing away a whole bunch of stuff, so he brought it up here. Cool. I mean, it's all homemade. Yeah. What a rig. Like the rig. They used to use it for, I guess it was a tractor trailer truck garage. So I guess it holds a tractor trailer truck motor, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else. I did gusset these up for strength right here. Yeah. It's gonna be strength now, but that one I couldn't see what I was doing that weld, but all the rest of them. I gotta grind that weld, but yeah. the rest is not bad. Right there. I was gonna put a gusset on both sides, but uh -huh. I got this big thick gusset in the middle, so it should. Yeah. Should take care of everything one gusset. Sure. Looks plenty big and strong to me. Just so whenever you start beating on it, you know, it's not going to fold up on you. All right. Which I doubt it will do much because it's a piece of, actually a piece of angle right there. So yeah. cut down so the angle is bent. And And then the shot, you'll be able to just barely see the shot. I mean, you'll see them outside of the nose. So. Right. But I had to have something that draped up over like this. Uh huh. And that way you got it's beyond all your springs and everything. Right. Well, it's looking good, Mike. Those, that thing you got your welder clamp on, that's your uh, ra uh, radiator mount? Yeah. And your front end holder? Yeah. yeah. i got to drill another hole in that. That's not quite welded up right yet, but... Steering box will be pretty simple, as long as it's clearance. Uh-huh. 
I just welded it right to the frame just like that. Right. I don't want to, as you can see, I got it marked. I want for what I don't want just a like square box there. I'm going to make it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> When you weld and weld on this pipe, this pipe right here, boy, you can hear it snap, snap, pop. Oh yeah. That's, that's stepping her up a little bit. I worried, kind of worried about these taking a beating, so right. I had to do something. Clean everything up and trying to get everything figured out here on the front end and get it over with. Yeah. I'm gonna have my pan. All right, I'm trying to figure out. I think it's gonna go like this. I'm gonna weld it right. Oh, this right here. Uh huh. I cut off that tab and weld that solid in here so I can get a bolt through it. Yeah. And then over here I'll weld something. I'm thinking about that one right there. Me and Jack here are on the way to Mike's house. We got the engine lift in the back over there. We got the uh, Edelbrock intake in the floor. We're gonna go over to Mike's and uh, I think he's gonna maybe set the motor on that train today. That'll be fun, won't it? Can't wait to see that. I'm sure he's kind of curious to set it on there just to see how the frame's gonna sit with the weight on it. And he's got the door on old Fireball. I just wanted to get a shot of what it looks like with the door on there. And uh, this is the engine he's got to go in it. It's uh, 305. Yeah, that looking real good, Mike. Yeah, get the radiator poured in, cut it down, so it pits down, mount it to the frame so that everything. I'm trying to get all the body and metal lined up and get everything in place and then rip off the nose and get the motor in it. But yeah. I had to pull a cap forward a tad. Yeah. More than I expected to the uh, nose drink come down by, so it got clearance for the front end, that's all. Yeah. Otherwise it would have been right on the money, you know. Yeah. Once I get the cap mounts and then the motor set in and figured out where I'm gonna cut my firewall and then once I get all that set in place and everything ready to go, then I'll probably pull the cab back off the thing. It's gonna be hard for me to do the all this quality work back here with this kicked up. Yeah. Yeah. But I just want to get everything lined up and set up and then plus I really don't want to paint the cab on the on that party once I get the price paint. Yeah. <laughs> This is sick looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna look okay, and then I'm gonna get a set up. I already know what I want for headers. I'm gonna get what they call a uh, fat fendered over the frame header. Yeah. And then what they do is they put a fat fendered tire and they come out into the fenders and then dump down. Yeah. So I'm gonna have it dump right down like that, and I'm gonna put a set of muffler on the end of it. Yeah. That's all she's gonna have. I just want them all to join together in a one big tube. And right. then come down right just about in front of the door and then dump yeah. down to the ground. That's what about. One guy says, that ain't legal. I said, it's legal if it's got mufflers. <laughs> yeah, actually on a street ride in Maine yeah. it is. Yeah, in Maine it is. Uh, on a street ride. Yeah. If I'm running a V8, I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to have it come up like that, but if I... If I was running a six banger, I would have run an exhaust up underneath of it and then dual it out, pump it out the back of it. But yeah. Right now, I just can't. I mean, I'm going to use this motor because everybody that I've talked to that has a straight six, I talked to a couple guys that don't know how good they run or anything, they still want four or five hundred dollars for them. Yeah.
Can you hear the church bells? Church bells are ringing. It's snowing. Sun's shining and it's snowing. It's supposed to snow tomorrow too. You think we got enough snow yet? You just keep right going. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a picture of this so everybody can see it. <laughs> Look at that truck. That thing looks awesome. Gotta take it uh, Gotta create room to make more havoc. Gotta create create room to make more havoc. <laughs> oh, look at that motor. You got that cleaned up nice and pretty. That's a big improvement. Yeah, I got all the crap off of it. Yeah. Well, for some reason, this looks shorter now. Did you drop it some more? No. All I did was got the nose exactly with the hood. Yeah. I put the hood on it and the nose on it, and I got everything lined up. All the body lines lined up. And then I put my radiator support. I had to cut it off. Jeez. And uh, got a radiator support mounts in there, but I got to draw all the holes. And well, that looks good, Mike. That really looks good. Everything's lined up where it should be now. Yeah. When it goes back together, then I'll have to, once I get all my holes drilled and everything, then I can pull apart and go right back together the way it. Yeah. Apart, so. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, I haven't done. I haven't uh, got the motor in it yet, but I figured. That's where it's gonna set the nose, and then if I go with it, I'm gonna make up for some tires, and if I don't do it enough, I'll just chop the grill. Chop the grill and put it back together. I don't think you're gonna have to. I think that's gonna be perfect once you get your big fat tires on there. Yeah, that looks real good. I had to put some, make some brackets here because there weren't no support in hand, it was flopping. Yeah. I welded some made it here, and I had to drill them, but. Yeah. Makes it nice and solid. Oh, that's the only thing that's gonna move is this. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna weld a bar in behind it. Yeah. And then come off this radiator support to the bar. Yeah. And that way it won't move around. Yeah. Basically, it will stick right up. Yeah. That's all I got done to it so far. So you made this one, right? No, actually one of my friends made this one. And the city of Lockton told him he couldn't run that in his garage no more. Really? So he said, well, what the hell am I going to do with it? And he said, I'll take it. So I brought it home and uh, been using it ever since. So I need so I said, that thing works so good, I'm going to build a brand new one. Yeah. This one's 20-something years. He built this 20-something years ago. So I'm going to build me a new one. I mean, I don't need it, but I just got to swap everything, fire brick, it's all fire brick line. Yeah. And actually, the guy that told him he couldn't use it no more, I said, well, actually, it's probably safer than most wood stove to buy, but yeah. we can't have our, it's against the rules to have a homemade wood stove in the shop, is what they were telling me. Yeah. And I had a bunch of different wood stoves out here, and this is the only one that really heats this place really good. Yeah. 
basically a wood, a hot air wood furnace. Yeah. yeah. So your fan blows the hot air right through the holes in it, right? Yeah. Gets up the food. That's a honking little setup you got right there, buddy. Well, I'm gonna add something to that one over there. Yeah. It's got to be called an oil dripper. Yeah. And I'm gonna have a tank off of that end, and I'm gonna have it come down and drip oil. Yeah. Well, I get rid of my waste oil too. Yeah. Pretty slick in it right there. <laughs> it's uh, 60, 60 degrees in here right now. Yeah. I've only been out here for an hour or so. Yeah. Away from that dead chill of winter out here. I just burn old garbage. Yeah. 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 It's that good. That's a big garage, all right. I told my wife I'd like to build on to this garage, and she says, ain't it big enough? I said, never big enough. <laughs> <laughs> another length for but this is about the perfect size right here. Yeah. I think 24 inches, I think it is. And then I just, you just drill all your holes and all the tubes in. Yeah. But they work great. Yeah, it looks good. Makes a nice heater. Old roll drum. The guy says, I'm going to get rid of this oil drum. I don't know what to do it, but the great thing about the old ones, they're thicker. Right. So you got to, this is a lot thicker than the ones you would buy now. Yeah. Yeah. A pair. So, but I mean, if you went in any hot rod book, you pay a hundred dollars for a pair of hinges to replace the front hinges. Yeah. Or more. Yeah. They're pricey, but they're heavy duty, you know. Yeah. I've got a junk knee on out back. I'm gonna cut the go rip the doors off of it. Then I'm gonna cut right where the hinges go, the body metal, and I'm gonna cut it right out hinges and pull so I have that whole setup. And I'm gonna cut this all out, weld that right in there. Put my hinges in, the bolt right in, perfect, everything, the slot will be there and everything. I'll put the striker plate in there. And get myself a set of door latch. Yeah. And then I'll just have to figure out my handle situation. Yeah. After I get the latches in it. That should do good. And then I'm thinking about I got this cool idea for a door handle, but I'm gonna I'm gonna invade Rich's territory. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna take a bolt and I'm gonna cut it, the head of it off, and I was gonna take some old wrench I had and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and have it for a door handle. I might, I might have a few spare I'm wrenches. Invaded, <laughs> I'm invading his wrench territory, but. <laughs> <laughs> I might still have a few uh, spare wrenches in my bag there. Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to like invade your <laughs> wrench territory. <laughs> but I thought it'd be kind of cool because I got some wrenches here that's got a bend to them. Yeah. Kind of bent. Yeah. <laughs> Make a good little door handle. Cut that right off there. There you go. <laughs> be something different. That'd be cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is for looks, but uh, Mike has set the engine down in his truck so we can get an idea of how it's going to sit. 
it's not bolted in or anything he's just got it sitting up on a couple of two by fours but it gives us a chance to walk away from it and see how low the front end is going to be and uh, how the stance is going to be I think it looks really good Mike now that makes her look perfect <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> to me that old tape measure wise yeah this is yep. like yeah three inches yeah but well, you know you got plenty of clearance as far as your front axle goes yeah and even if you did scrub that little front end there so what I mean it's kind of that's kind of what a little rat rod idea is all about <laughs> you know get it really low and you know even if you did scrub it going down the road It'd just be sparks. It's like six <laughs> inches. Uh, it's like six. Yeah, six inches to the bottom of the spring wheel here, uh, way up front. Yeah. Oh, that's a perfect stance. That's going to be good. That's, that's real good. My I didn't think it dropped two inches, but. Yeah. So who's your helper here? This is my grandson. Oh yeah? What's his name? Zach. Zach? Yeah. Oh. Hey Zach. What? I got a helper named Zach too. <laughs> He's gonna be a... He'll be out here with I see you've got a tape measure. Yeah. That's awesome. He likes taking anything like hammers and stuff. He likes it. <laughs> Can't imagine where he gets that from. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> yeah, what I think... Well, you know, it makes the front, see how that little front of the, of the cowl kind of yeah. tilts? It makes that angle perfect, too, yeah. you know. I think it's just great. Yeah, I think it's just great. <laughs> yeah, because you, like, you, like we said, put a taller tire in the front, you'll gain. It's got three inches, so you can gain yeah. up to an inch and a half, maybe two yeah. inches if you're lucky on a taller tire, so... Yeah. That will bring it up to four to five inches back where it was before. So. Right. And then of course the back's going to drop down. The back will drop down when we put the 50s on it because the 50s are shorter. Right. What? My light cameras. Your what? My light cameras. I don't know what you're saying. My light cameras. You like hammers? My cameras. Cameras? Yeah. Is he saying cameras? He likes cameras? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Can you say cheese? Can you look at the camera and say cheese? Say cheese. You like hot rods? Yeah. You like Mike's hot rod? Yeah. You like that other hot rod over there? Yeah. That one's pretty, ain't it? But this one's awesome. It is awesome. Let's see if we can find that flag for you. He just brought that up. I told him I had a flag over okay, here. Stay right there, boy. You don't trip over nothing. And I'll give you a flag. There you go. I told you I'd give you one. He likes flags. He likes flags. <laughs> huh? I like flags. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Man, I can just picture you now in the 4th of July parade with Mike riding you around in the truck and you waving the flag. <laughs> yeah, that's about as low as you're going to get it. That's perfect, though. <laughs> and just think about, I mean, you know, when you walk up to the front end of it, Yeah. just think about the, the, how high the, the, the top of the grill is compared to you. It's like, you know, you could sit down on the, yeah. you could sit down on the top of the grill there. Hey. And it's going to take them up. Uh, can you see what it will look like when we're setting a bunch of grass? That will look good. Yeah. Kind of show the grass. It will really look well. <laughs> <laughs> you hold the camera. Point it at the truck. When I walk up to it, yeah. this is like pocket high. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty. And I'm not tall like you are. So, I mean, hold that's even. That. Hold that's that. just right hold for leaning on yeah. <laughs> Hold that. Yeah. Hold that. Alrighty. Well, that's just lovely. I'm on my way over to Mike's house. I got a call from him. He, uh, 
He's been telling me that he's come up with something really cool. It's going to be a surprise. He ain't going to tell me what it is. He called me just a minute ago and said, all right, I got one side done. I want you to come take a look. So I'm on my way over to see what he's done. Can't hardly wait. I'm all excited. I'm just like a kid going to his first day on the playground. I'm all a flutter just thinking about it. <laughs> Holy cow, Batman. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> so excited. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, look at that orange paint on there, too. Yeah, we figured, I figured what the hell of all the holes it was just a rat rod, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, make it look too pretty, it won't be the same. <laughs> just look at that. Work that door again for me from this angle. Let me get this. Woohoo! Oh, that's slick. Yeah, that's slick. No doubt about it. Looks vintage too. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it does. You got those old-fashioned hinges there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Look at them. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, I couldn't figure out no other. I started messing with these hinges. Yeah. Where the heck is it? I kind of like threw it off the side because it weren't no. Remember how I had the regular door hinges? Yeah, you had them big square looking yeah. brass so looking in order hinges. to do it right that way, you'd have to cut into the body way back here. Right. And make a box. Uh-huh. And then you'd have to weld the hinge onto the door here and make a box. So that box would sell right into that box. I yeah. said, that's too much work. So I started going, I went to a hardware store. Oh, that's sweet. I said, these are real heavy gate hinges. Yeah. So what I did was... These are just welds. Yeah. And I, I plug welded it to the body. Right. Cleaned the body up. And then I welded it. It's welded all the way around here, all the way around this door. And then it's welded solid to the body here on the back side. So it's actually welded, not bolted to the body? This is actually bolted, these three. Yeah. But there's a big heavy plate behind here. Right. And it's sandwiched between the sheet metal. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. Huh? It ain't going anywhere. No, it's plenty strong enough. Yeah. The only thing I see is a little body flex down here, but that's because it's lost its structure, so that's what I've got to yeah. fix that. That's cool. That's what I've been working on. I figured you'd like the old gate style hinges. Yeah. And, they, and the pins pop out, and you can pop the doors right off. There you go. They got like a big heavy pin right there. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that's just awesome. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now I gotta put a latch in it. And yeah. I gotta do some body work, but that's what I'm proceeding to do right now. But. Yeah.
structural problems here. Because of all this was gone. Yeah. I'm gonna get in and again, I have the camera running while I'm gonna do that over here. I'll let you hold the door latch. I don't put a whole eye hook in there, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can feel it now. The cruising. <laughs> It'll be good. I want you to throw all the holes in the front and I said, to hell with this, i got to get this thing on the move. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if you, if, you, if you fix it up and it's too much, it, it takes all the fun out of it. Right. I like to leave the rusty on it. Right, but I'm going to get some of it off because it's just... Yeah. She'll still have all kinds of pit and stuff all over it, but... Yeah. I just got to strengthen it up with some steel, you know. Yeah. So she ain't like banging around and stuff all. Yeah. But once I get it all, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a flat orange. This is just, uh, I wanted the firewall to look up glossy and then the rest of it will be a flat. Yeah. And then I'll just high speed body work. Yeah. It is kind of, I don't know what to do with my door latch here. <laughs> That's my door latch. I look like an old biker with a mop, too. You guys say I smoke and you guys say I drink. I got four vices. Smoking, drinking, women, and hog on. <laughs> Mike was talking about wanting some louvers in the back of his tailgate. I got this old Model A hood, what's left of it. It's got some louvers in it, so he might get some louvers out of that, louver his tailgate. Oh, that's down to set tailgate. Yeah. See what kind of soup you make, right? <laughs> Next, Mike, you're gonna hack this piece of where we didn't have quite enough metal here. We're gonna tack a piece in. This will uh, should be the inside of the bed on the driver's side. So we won't right. see, we'll do some on the inside here and get that back and ground up a little bit. And
bought a couple patches and then run away she looks. I would. Let's see what, you, what they say. Okay. <laughs> so y'all hear that all y'all out on YouTube. You get a voice here. I'm not necessarily saying that Mike's going to do what you say, but he's interested. How many people think he ought to paint it and how many people think he ought to leave it like that? Let us know. Yeah, just take a while, brush all this primer stuff and just make some marks all through it. <laughs> Open up the metal. Yeah, you can leave that firewall orange there. That'll catch people's eye. <laughs> we'll open up some metal up, up there. Yeah. If that's the case. Yeah. Little spots of primer here and there. What about your grill over here? That's you got a, uh, you got a nice emblem on here. This old Chevy emblem. The old Chevrolet right here. I wonder how it would look just to scuff around that so that the, uh, you know, you could, so that it sort of stands out. Because yeah, the, the Chevy, the Chevy kind of disappears there. Either that or you could paint the Chevy and yeah. maybe, maybe hit that with, I don't know, hit that with a brush enough to, so it sort of stands out, that little bow tie emblem right there. Yeah, we could leave the That's cool. Yeah, just leave the firewall orange. <laughs> I'm looking patches and welding showing and that's what I do. Well, you know, I've already said that ten times, so Yeah, I know. You're gonna do what you're gonna do. We'll see how we'll see how it turns out. Yeah. It'll be a big mystery for us.